Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to configure and install Java CV on your uh, NetBeans IDE. And I have also shown you how to uh, run a sample program with the help of your uh, NetBeans IDE. So when your program runs, when you click this button, it opens a image which you want to open in a canvas frame. Now in this video, I will show you how to uh, open a webcam with the help of your Java CV jar files. Okay, so this uh, video will be dependent on the last video and you need to configure and install Java CV before uh, writing uh, the code for uh, opening the webcam with your java cv and java program so i recommend just watch that video and then watch this video so now let's get started i will take a button maybe i will resize it i will change its text as open web cam and uh, I will change the variable name also for example webcam capture and now I will double click this button or I will right click and go to event action and action perform and I reach to this button action perform here so first of all what we need to do here is we need uh, to open our webcam so for opening our webcam we will write the code so for opening the webcam just write uh, this code here and it will look like this write cv capture and give it a variable name in my case i have given this variable name uh, capture is equal to open cv underscore high GUI dot cv create camera capture and in the bracket pass the argument zero this argument uh, zero indicate that we want to open our webcam from our computer if you have some other uh, extension for example you have uh, plug-in webcam, second webcam or other uh, devices then this number can change uh, for example 1 or 2 and you can open those devices also or other cameras also when you change this number. So it's showing me this uh, red line. I will see what is the error and it's showing me that I need to import these four files so I will right click and I will click fix imports and my error is gone okay and now in the second line what I will do is I will set the height and width of the camera frame so that for example you need to have a frame of certain size and in that you want to see uh, show the image uh, which is uh, captured by the camera so in the next line write this so just write open cv underscore high gui dot cv set capture property and in the bracket we are going to pass four argument first is this capture variable which we have recently created cv capture variable here and the second argument give comma and second argument will be the specification that you want to set the height or width so in first case we are going to uh, set the height so write open cv underscore high gui dot cv underscore cap underscore prop underscore frame underscore height. So 
so this shows that we are setting height of the frame of webcam and the next argument would be the size which you want to set so for example i want to set 720 size that's why i have written 720 here and in the same way i will just copy this line once again and i will i will paste it here for in just below here so and in the next line i will set the width so everything will be same just i will change this uh instead of this height i will write cv and you can choose the width from here right so let's see where is the width So with its set here, it's CV underscore cap underscore prop underscore frame underscore width instead of this height, just replace it with width. And this you can also change. So for example, I want to say it set the width as one two eight zero. So in these two lines, I have set the height and width of the frame which we are capturing from the webcam okay and in the next line we are going to create a IPL image format so just write uh, this here write IPL image and give it a variable name I have given uh, it a variable name called grabbed image is equal to open CV underscore high GUI dot cv query frame and here as an argument you will pass this cv capture so whatever image you are taking from the webcam you are passing it as an argument for the ipl image and now what we want to do is we want to show this image continuously so that it seems like webcam is showing uh, video or it's showing the image continuously right so let's uh, write the code for that uh, but first we need to create a canvas frame so let's create a canvas frame here so in here write this line write canvas frame and give it a variable name in my case I have given the name frame is equal to new canvas frame and as an argument you will give the title of your frame so I have given uh, the canvas frame title as webcam here so do this and now we will create a while loop so let's create a while loop really quick here while and in the while loop we will give the condition first of all we will uh, take this canvas frame variable frame and we will write frame dot is visible so if while the frame is visible and this uh, grabbed image should not be a null so I will just copy this line up to here and I will give here as a condition here so write frame dot visible and grabbed image is equal to open CV underscore high GUI dot CV query frame and which is having the argument uh, capture and I will just delete this and I will just close it in a bigger bracket and while this is not equal to null we are going to show the image 
okay so what I have done is I am seeing while my frame is visible and my grabbed image is not equal to null and in the next line I will simply show my image so I will write this so write frame dot show image and in here as an argument pass this grabbed image here okay so it's done and uh, now we are ready to run our program so I will uh, right click and run the program and when I click this it should open our webcam so let's try and click it I click it and it's opening my webcam and you will be able to see my hand gestures now and one thing you will notice is when you try to close this frame here it will not open because it's running in a while loop so this problem can be solved by running this uh, program in a thread so let's try and fix this problem you see here it's not closing from here so I will close it from here and so in the code here what will we do is we will enclose this code in a thread so in this, this code just go at the top and we are going to create a thread so write thread and uh, you can give any name to the thread for example webcam is equal to new thread and the bracket close it here open it here and close it here okay and now in the one step below this thread what you need to do is you need to create a run program for this thread so write public void run and just close it here open and close this and in here I need to provide the bracket and in here also I need to provide the bracket and here also it's showing error so I will give semicolon here so that my thread is created and when I press this webcam capture button it should start my thread so one thing is left is I need to start my thread so I will just copy the name of my thread which is webcam and after the completion of this thread function I will just write webcam dot start so this button will start our thread so just write this code and if you want you can pause the video and copy the code and now we are going to run the pro program once again and hopefully it will run perfectly now so I will right click and run the program once again and I will click this button let me close this last program and now I will click this open webcam and it will open the webcam you can see it here webcam is open and when you cl click this close button from here it should close the this, this canvas frame so let's see yes it's closing the canvas frame you can open the webcam once again and close it once again and open it once again so now it's running perfectly fine 
so in this way you can open the webcam with the help of open cv or java cv and i hope you have enjoyed this video please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and